musical journey. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to all of you Swaha, an extraordinary percussion band hailing from the vibrant city of Bangalore. With a fusion of Latin grooves, samba, reggae and Indian folk music, Swaha's beats transcend borders, captivating audiences worldwide. Swaha has performed in over 15 countries across Europe, UAE and Asia, gracing both international stages and national reality shows like the one we all know, India's Got Talent and Entertainment Ke Liye Kuch Bhi Karega. Their rhythmic talent extends to the silver screen with notable contributions to blockbuster movies, including the recent sensation KGF. Swaha's background rhythm score for both part one and part two has soared to the top charts span India, leaving an indelible mark on the music scene. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let's welcome the supremely talented band on the stage. Let's welcome Swaha. Come on, I need to see all of you. Put your hands together. Chapali barve ko chora ki barve ko. Check, check, check. Good afternoon, everyone. I can't hear you guys. Good afternoon, everyone. I still can't hear you guys. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, super amazing. Okay. Before the band comes on the stage, I'm going to do a small act. Okay. Before me performing, I want to ask you, how many of you know this term called beatboxing? Okay, how many of you don't know what beatboxing is? Okay. People who don't know what beatboxing is, beatboxing is nothing but a mimic of a drum through your mouth. Okay, for an example, three magical beat. The bass will sound something like this. The snare. And the eye. When you mix all these three sounds together, it sounds like... Thank you so much. Did you guys enjoy? You like it? Okay, we'll do something more. How many of you guys, guys go to pop discos? So raise your hands. Come on guys, I'm gonna judge you guys, come on. Okay, we have a different kind of beat. Uh, when you go to pop and disco, it's called as a techno and house. A beatboxing mimicking a uh, techno sound, sound, sound something like this. See all the hands up in the air. One, two, three, let's go. Thank you so much. Okay, the next step, I want you guys to do something with me. Will you guys do it? You have no other choice, you have to do it. Okay, so simple thing you have to do is Kua, kua. Come on, come on, guys, come on, let's go. Kua, kua. Kua, kua. Kua, Give it up yourself, you guys are amazing. 
okay how many want to learn this i'm going to teach you how many want to learn this come on i teach you free of cost right come on okay we'll all learn together we'll all learn together we are all in one family are we one family i can't hear are we one family okay so let's learn all together you have to repeat four steps with me so first step will be beatbox everyone just say beatbox come on guys louder beatbox okay the second step will be beat box not chi it's beat box ha okay the third step will be beat box ha okay the last and final one you have to do is beat box Are you guys having fun? I can't hear you. Are you guys having fun? Yes. Okay. okay. I'm going to show you different kind of beaches there in India, starting from the north. People from the north make some noise. Nay, 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 nay. People from the north make some noise. Okay, all the way from Punjab. The Bhangra sounds like south make some noise yeah nai tonunge people from the south make some noise okay what is the local local beat that you play what is the local beat that we play tapangochi oh my so i want you guys to do a simple thing for me you have to do is this Are you guys having fun? Yes. You want some more? You want some more? Okay, I'm going to introduce to my band. Make some noise for the, for the incredible band Swaha. Come on, guys, make some noise for them.
thank you thank you so much we welcome you all for the great evening ahead uh, this was a small carnatic composition called watafi ganapalim and also in hindustan it's called lagi lagna so uh, we are band uh, we are the band called swaha we play a lot of multi percussion like all over the world uh, can you guess what 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 the instrument name is anyone any guesses what is that instrument no you can take a wild guess you can take a wild guess it's fine you can say tabla also <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's basically whatever he's playing is called didgeridoo it's an australian tribal instrument uh, and uh, we have jambe in between and we have uh, nakari and uh, we have timbal it's again a uh, australian instrument and we have drums as you see and and with flute uh, so we normally gel with a lot of multi percussion so the next track that we are playing is uh, based on a hindustani classical raga called jo i hope you guys enjoy that
Thank you. Thank you so much. We are so happy to see you. We are so happy that you have come all the way for this amazing show. And um, we are glad and we are so happy that we are performing for you guys. Thank you so much for making a day for us to perform in front of you. And I hope everyone is having fun, is enjoying as well as we are enjoying. Thank you so much. So the next track, I think our Guru will explain the next track pretty better than me. I think that's all. So the next track is uh, based, of, based out of a raga called uh, Darbari Kannada. It's a Hindustani classical raga. And it's a cover song by uh, Purnya Srinivasji, who has done it in uh, Veena. Uh, again, you will just see the raga based composition. Thank you. Shake. Thank you. 
Clap, clap, clap. Come on, come here and see. Come on, everyone. Louder. Yes.
clap, clap, clap. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. Come on, guys, louder. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. Come on, faster. Clap, 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 clap. Thank you, Tamir. Did you guys enjoy? I can't hear. Did you guys enjoy? Okay, let me take the privilege to introduce our band. Make some noise on the drums, Mahesh Kumar. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. On the timbale, Prajwal. On the nakara and pads, Rahul. Come on, make some noise, guys. On the jambe, Harish. On the digirido. And Jambe, Ranjit, and the master on flute, Sumak. Last but not the least, me myself, Michael. Thank you so much, you ladies. You guys were amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, everybody together, give it up for them. Thank you so much, Swahil. Once again. For the landslide of entertainment, whenever we have you with us, of course, it's an audio-visual treat when they perform. Ladies and gentlemen, all our friends here who are still standing, I'd like to request all of you to kindly take your seats. Yes, and make sure that you continue smiling because we love the smiles here in the house. And I must mention when Swaha was performing, there were three people for me who stood out completely. The kind of energy that they brought into this event is unparalleled, unbelievable. So with that, I'm going to come on stage and identify who those three people were. And if you think that was you, I want you to clap for yourselves. Wow, beautiful. All right. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, lights, camera, and action. Thank you so much once again. It's time for me to come on the stage and entertain all of you and get all of you ready to one of the most awaited moments right here, right now. In the meanwhile, 
for all those who are sitting right here i hope you have your bands please make sure that you know your batch number well because one after the other we are going to invite all of you to the allotment area and every family is handed over with two band batches so please make sure you keep them safe and whenever your batch is invited and called out we will request you to kindly proceed towards the allotment area i see we've got a lot of kids in the house as well so for all the kids and for everybody right here for a lot of entertainment for an experience like never before we have a carnival so do experience and explore the carnival area as well all right so we're going to wait to see all of you on the other side but wherever you are please make sure that you are at a hearing distance between that place and of course this main arena this is where all the important announcements will be made and most importantly we are going to have loads of entertainment loads of exciting performances coming your way so stay tuned with us and one last time one last time all those who are still not seated as yet i'd like to urge you all to kindly take your seats as we are about to begin and we want you all to kindly enjoy this experience so sit down comfortably and like sharu khan says kursi ki peti bandh lijiye kyunki mausam bigadne wala hai well yes the moment we are waiting for is only 10 seconds away as you see we are going to begin and i promise you more for sure so with smiles on your faces with all the happiness and positivity that we have here in the house we are going to begin and i see more people coming in so welcome to all of you as well ellarigu swagata suswagata andariki swagatam suswagatam sugamano vanakam namaste satsriyakal adab i'd like to welcome the each and every one of you right here for an experience that you are going to hold close to your heart and of course this entire event is brought together only and only for all of you sitting right here so it indeed is my deep pleasure to be your host and in a moment from now we're all going to experience this together as i unfold this layer by layer for all of you and if you think this was a great beginning to this event i must tell you something that we've got a lot more entertainment coming in for everybody sitting right here so stay tuned with us and get ready to go on this magical journey that i'm sure all of us are waiting for and like they say good things only come to those who wait so when you're waiting for something i can feel the energy the time tends to go a little slowly all right on that note ladies and gentlemen i hope you're all ready and if you're ready i need a loud yes until i get that from you we are not going to begin all right so ladies and gentlemen are you ready not yet not yet i said a loud yes yes i hear a yes but i need a loud yes so once again क्या आप सब तैयार हो एला रेडी ना ऑल राइट देन ऑल राइट देन हियर वी गो टू माय फ्रेंड्स एट द कंसोल लाइट्स कैमरा एंड एक्शन लेट्स गो ऑल राइट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई नीड टू सी ऑल योर हैंड्स अप हिंदी एवरीबॉडी हैंड्स अप कैन आई हियर ऑल ऑफ यू से अ बिग हेलो एवरीबॉडी Hi everybody it is so wholesome to see all of you together here in the house I need to see your hands up in there come on come on come on come on come on come on move them All right we're going to take this experience a notch higher okay we're going to take this experience a notch higher but before that as promised I'm going to tell you who are those three people who clapped like they had the energy of Ranveer Singh the gentleman sitting right there sir can you please stand up for me Yes sir yes 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 please stand up sir the kind of energy that you bring in the kind of vibe it's unbelievable once sir once i want you to clap exactly like how you clap before and i want you to look at all of them in the eye and tell them how to clap beautiful that energy is absolutely infectious thank you so much sir and there was there was a lady right here i saw throughout the performance both the hands were only up in the air she did not stop to take a video or a photo can i have that lady put her hands up yes yes and i want you to clap as well ma'am for yourself and everybody right here thank you so much and i must tell you that your smile is better than madhuri dikshit herself i i we love that we love that and of course so much energy came in from all parts of the room so we are going to all take it a notch higher can you all stand up for me please can i have each and every one of you stand up quickly bega 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 perfect 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 now i want all of you to put both your hands forward please 
Okay, both your hands forward. Perfect. Now I want you to shake your hands a little bit. Shake it, 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 shake it. Perfect. Now this is just the warm up. Now there is something that I know all of you have. It's called the mobile phone. Can you all remove that for me, please? Yes. Okay. Can I see all of you remove your mobile phone from your pocket, from your bag, wherever that is, and turn on the flashlight. Everybody, I need to see the flashlight turn on because all our stars are here with us today, and it doesn't get better than this. We are going to give it a moment. I need to see the hands up in the air. The flashlights. And of course, your smiles to be as wide and vibrant as possible. DJ, give me the beat, please. All right, we're all going to do this together. I need to see your hands up in the air. All right, let's move them around. We've got all the stars in the house. Beautiful. All right, now look at your family members and smile at them. Okay, now we are going to go a little faster, everybody, okay? A little faster! So a little more energy, come on! Well, everybody behind, I love the hands up in the air! you make some noise? Can you make some noise? Okay, now I need to see your hands up and we're going to jump up together, okay? We're all going to touch the sky right now. Jump, 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 jump. Higher, higher, higher. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everybody. On that note, you can all take your seats right now. And as you do that, I want you to hold your family's hand as strong as you can, okay? I need a solid grip. Whoever's on your left, right, I want you to hold their hands quickly, quickly. Come on, come on, come on. I need to see all of you do that. Okay, everybody, hand in hand. Love the lovely family sitting right here with a little rock star. I'm sure we should take a picture with her right now. In future, we're going to come back for her autograph. I promise you that. All right, now, everybody, hand in hand. Okay, when I say three, two, one, if all of you are happy today, I need you to put your hands up in the air and give me a loud cheer. Okay, we're going to do that together with our family members. Everybody, hand in hand, at the count of three, two, one, put your hands up! And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, once again, the warmest, warmest welcome to all of you. Now, today we've all gathered here to introduce our newest property inspired by the five elements of nature nestled in the heart of Bangalore's bustling area. This oasis of greenery offers a serene retreat amid, amidst the urban hustle and with over 70% of open spaces, you will find ample room to reconnect and rejuvenate with your senses. A commitment is to preserve the natural elements which ensure that every corner of the property reflects the beauty and harmony of the environment. So ladies and gentlemen, and the each and every one of you, welcome to the biggest, the grandest, and the most awaited event. This is the unveiling of Provident Botanical! All right, on that note, I think we're all energized and ready to welcome our in-house superstar, a leader who leads by example, truly an inspiration to a generation. He's a well-known name in the real estate industry who is currently the CEO of Provident Housing Limited, managing a vast portfolio across nine cities, totaling over 12 million, when I say it again, I want you to clap when I say it again, totaling over 12 million square feet of residential development. He is a recognized person for transforming business, orchestrating ventures valued at more than $1 billion. He has scaled profit-centric models in India, Canada, and the Asia-Pacific. 
He is a Harvard Business School alumnus. His leadership reflects a blend of financial acumen and development expertise, making him a very successful professional in the industry. Ladies and gentlemen, it indeed is my deep pleasure to welcome him on the stage. I want you all to put your hands up in the air, give a thunderous round of applause for the one, the only, Mr. Malana! All the hands up in the air, put them together. Clap, clap. Thank you very much, uh, Fatima, for doing this over and over and again for us. And, um, you know, please, uh, a round of applause for our celebrated MC, you know, who's done shows and who's, who's orchestrated these kind of events world over. And uh, thank you very much for you all to come in this afternoon on a Sunday afternoon. And um, the number of people that I see reflects the faith and the trust that you have in our brand. It's very much appreciated. And she said a lot about, you know, $1 billion of business that what we have done or, you know, Harvard Business School alumni and other things. And so they're all great. But what it is in the heart of this thing is as a leader, as a company, that what we have is you in the mind always. That is what, what I always say that being in the business for the last 30 years, that if you're not thinking about the customer, then you're not thinking about the business. So. I have something called customer obsession. That is from selecting a land to designing something and to hand over and that experience. And you might have seen already when you walked in the way it has been organized. It's because every step that we do is kept, that the customer is kept in our mind. So that is the ethos and that is how that we have built this company. As we go forward, right, you know, this is a very important decision that you're going to be making in your life. I'm not here to sell this apartment, so I say, say something that is not true and say buy this apartment, buy this unit, and you will be doing great. What I want to do here is simply place the facts in front of you from the industry perspective, from a, an individual perspective, and in the future what may be happening in the real estate, and particularly in this location and the project that what we are going to do. For that, what I need to do is I have to tell you that what I'm going to be presenting, and that's where I start with you. And if you're all okay, shall I start? Thank you very much. So welcome again. So Provident Housing, you know, Provident Housing, so it's, as I said, customer obsession, more for sure, which means that our aim is to make sure that whoever may be the developer who is in the same quadrant of the city who's selling units just like us, that are we able to give more for every single rupee my customer spends? That's called more for sure, which means that from every thought, every action that we take is always thinking about the customer to say, am I giving more to the customer compared to any other developer in that vicinity? And we stand by that, and as I go on presenting, you will understand. It is not just saying that I'll give you a marble or I'll give you a vitrified tile or this or that. Those are all things very simple. We always look at this building is going to stay for 60 years, 50 years, and people who are buying this one are 35 years old are buying, and so when after 25 years or 28 years, when their children, like my children, who went, went left and went away to different parts of the world, when they go away, is that has actually created a wealth for the people who are standing by. I mean, that's the, that is where the fundamentally our thought process starts. And for that, we need to do a number of steps. The design should be good, you know, the floor plan should be efficient, construction should be good, and so on and so forth. I'll just take you through this one little by little and let's see how it goes. So uh, just to give you, Provident is part of the Purvankara group. As you know that Purvankara exists in the business of real estate development for last 48 years. We are one of the, probably the oldest surviving real estate company in the, in, in the city. And of course, you know, maybe one or two or three in the top three in the, in the, in the, in the country itself. So um, in, in, in Purvankara, has always stood for something that is the first. So we were the first to launch, you know, uh, to, to get the FDI, foreign direct investment in real estate. You know, when the real estate itself, the industry itself was so fragmented that nobody wanted to invest. And so Keppel came from Singapore and invested with us a long time back. We were one among the first to be listed company. In 2008, we listed real estate company and we did extremely well. 
and we are we are the company who first thought about the themed products we first of all we started about thinking about large projects as we go to as we go to talk about the provident and you will understand provident was incept the inception happened in 2008 and 15 plus years is where we are doing the business as provident more than 50000 plus happy customers and we are operating in nine cities and so far we have delivered around 12500 units and 11000 houses are in the making that means they are in different you know different stages of construction approvals and so on and so forth at any given point of time we are looking to ne we're negotiating lands and approvals and other things for another 12000 units so what it is what it really means why am i saying all these things you will understand that at the scale that we are at now you can trust us that there is in the 47 years of history of purvankara there is not a single project in the nine cities that is stalled or that is left because business is always up and down and as you might have seen there are quite a number of stalled projects in the country whereas in Puravangara's history there is not a single project which is stalled so and also to give you about provident and if you did not know the single location largest project in bangalore is sunward city provident sunward city 6000 units in one location which we are doing in mysore road it's and uh, 3000 units delivered and other 3000 under construction in Goa, we are the largest developer in a single location, Adora di Goa, more than 2,000 units. We have a huge pres presence in Cochin. We have a huge presence in Pune, Mumbai, and um, in Hyderabad, Chennai. So you are, you are, you are trying to, you're, 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 you're buying probably, you're, you're looking at a unit to buy, buy from one of the most trusted names is what I was trying to emphasize. So we believe in power of more, let's try to bring holistic living experience. And as I go through the, the, the these are all statements and words and et cetera. So when we go through the, go through the presentation that you will understand that how our thinking process was more quality. I really encourage that you go to our construction museum at site that we will, should be, in fact, it is all laid out there, how the construction is done. When I said that these projects which were built should be lasting for 30, 40, 50 years. And that depends on how well the construction is done. This particular project is going to be done on what we call a Maiwan monolithic structure, which means it's going to be a concrete structure and concrete lives for 75 years. It is not some kind of a conventional construction where you will see cracks after three, four, five years and so on and so forth. A steady, sturdy building is what we are going to be building. So as I said, uncompromising integrity, one of the things is about if we are not thinking for customers and that means that we are should not be in the business and that's what i've told my team and that's what we believe in and you will always find us to be doing that more technology more sustainability more transparency i'm going to be talking about sustainability a little bit, little bit later with regards to transparency as i said whatever we do for example, that even when there are difficult times with the approvals and other things in some of the projects, that we have always been very open and upfront, upfront with the customers. There was a project in which there was no OC was not coming in simply because Jakur Airport was not issuing the NOC to anybody. There were more than 35 projects were stalled. Then what we did was we actually took the customers, went to Vidhan Sauda and said that, boss, this is the OCC. That is the transparency which we are talking about. Whether it's good, bad, ugly, that we are always with customers and being very transparent in what we do in the way we do business. So most important thing is we need to be, we need to be looking at now where we are buying. You know, in, the, in, in real estate, the first number one thing is location. And number two, number three is location. Rest everything else is what we do. Location is something that you choose. So this location is probably one of the best. I'll give you a few things. I do not know. There's a lot in the, present, in, the, in, the, in the video that you're going to watch. In the country, the per capita income of Whitefield, when you take such a square kilometer, it is the highest in the country. And most smartest people, highest education. And if you really look at and highest, highest probably most number of jobs, and you know your, your, your educational institutions, hospitals, and retail, and malls, and now the metro, the metro is around five and a half kilometers from here. People are talking about, you know, old Madras road and here and there, everywhere. So metro is not there. Metro is really one of the most important thing. For example, 
that from Pope Palm Junction, before somebody wants to go to Mysore Road means that would be a three and a half hours of travel. Today you can travel in 61 minutes by spending 18 rupees or 20 rupees or 25 rupees like that. So the metro has changed, the proximity, proximity to metro is one of the greatest thing in this project. So anyways, I will, let, I will let you watch this video and then again I will join you. Imagine waking up to the gentle rustling of leaves, the melodious songs of birds and the fresh scent of the great outdoors. Living within nature isn't just a dream. It's a reality waiting for you to explore. Introducing Provident Botanico, a sanctuary where life thrives in perfect balance and where nature's gifts are celebrated. Nestled between a good mix of tranquility and technology on Saukya Road in Whitefield, this property is truly a masterpiece of nature and modernity. Whitefield constitutes a bustling urban center within itself encompassing a diverse array of amenities such as offices, retail spaces, hospitals, restaurants, and educational institutions. It stands as a city within a city, providing a comprehensive range of services and facilities within its boundaries, catering to the needs of its residents and visitors alike. Whitefield isn't merely a geographical point, but a universe of opportunities. Within this thriving hub of multinational corporations and IT giants, dreams soar high and ambitions in the tech industry take flight. Whitefield is the second largest office market in Bengaluru, with around 40 million square feet of office space and employs more than 300,000 personnel. It's home to iconic tech parks like ITPL, Shanti Niketan, and Techno Park with major industry players like HP, Accenture, Huawei, and more. Superb connectivity, whether via road or rail, has evolved into a vital lifeline for Whitefield. Whitefield enjoys essential connectivity through well-designed four-lane roads, including Whitefield Road, Mahadevpura, Vartur Road, Marathali, HAL Old Airport Road, Kearpuram, and Old Madras Road, ensuring seamless access to the entire Bengaluru. The purple metro line which links Whitefield and Chalagata is finally operational. Metro ridership rose to nearly 7 lakh on the first day of the opening of the entire purple line and the trend is expected to continue. The strategic placement of Provident Botanico guarantees effortless access to top-notch educational options for your children right in your neighborhood. Renowned institutions like Bangalore International Academy, Sri Ram Global School, Delhi Public School, and MVJ College of Engineering are conveniently situated within the vicinity. When it comes to indulging in retail therapy, entertainment, and beyond, you are in close proximity to well-known shopping destinations, including Phoenix Market City, VR Bengaluru Mall, Nexus Shantini Ketan Mall, Park Square Mall, and next is Whitefield. You can readily avail the services of world-class healthcare facilities like Manipal Hospital, Satya Sai Hospital, and Astor Whitefield Hospital, providing unmatched medical care just moments from your doorstep. The real estate landscape in Whitefield paints a compelling picture of growth and prosperity. In recent times, property values have soared, showcasing the neighborhood's remarkable potential. Real estate prices have appreciated a remarkable 20% surge in the past year alone. Taking a broader perspective, a strong 30% appreciation over the preceding three years has been seen in Whitefield property prices. Whitefield's future connectivity promises to redefine the way you traverse the city. Two remarkable projects are set to transform the landscape, ensuring seamless access within and beyond Whitefield. The 73-kilometer peripheral ring road, costing around 26,000 crore, is expected to be finished by December 2027. This route, starting at the Nice Road Junction on the Tumku Road and ending at National Highway 44 on Hosur Road, will notably improve connectivity to Sarjapura, Vartur, Whitefield, Oskote, and the Kempe Gowda International Airport. The 288-kilometer satellite town ring road project 
costing around 17,000 crore, is set to be completed by 2025, will revolutionize inter- and intra-city travel. This expressway, with four to six lanes, will notably reduce travel times between Whitefield, Electronic City, and the Kempe Gouda International Airport. A technology innovation park will be developed on 100 acres at Gadugodi in Whitefield that will offer testing, design, and R&D services aiding the semiconductor sector besides housing a technical research institute. Incorporating the ideal location, environmentally conscious amenities, and a plethora of upcoming advancements, this property is more than just a residence. It serves as a portal to the future. There you go. There is a lot said there, and uh, so that I don't have to talk too much, but nevertheless, location is everything, and uh, the future value of any product, particularly an apartment unit, depends on where you are in, in, in the location. For example, that white field, the natural progression of white field should be in this direction, simply because there is metro. From metro onwards, that if you go towards Vartur, then you're going away from metro. If you're going towards um, uh, old Madras Road, then again you're going away from metro. So the only way that the, we think is the, the, the development in or the progression in Whitefield will happen in this direction over the next 10, 15, 20 years and you will see a lot of wealth that is going to get created in this location. So this is uh, just a, a picture of what the entry would look like and so what we have conceived this one to be like a boulevard on either side the road three street avenue that which is going to take you into the into the facility and these are some of the elevations and other things which showing the swimming pool and this is another elevation picture and this is an entry and where people are going to be walking around and this is some of the shots of interiors which we have done the mock-up apartment wherein you will see that the shots were taken from there uh, let's get into the product details configuration of we have got two bhks and three bhks we do not have one bhk here Total site area is around 17 acres, and we've got from ground plus 18 and ground plus 24 storied buildings, and clubhouse is around 20,000 square feet. We'll get to the details of that. We've got amenities, 40 plus amenities. When we say 40 plus amenities, then people, you know, there are quite a number of developers. You will see the advertisements in the newspaper, oh, 40 amenities, and if you say, what is the development size, it's five acres. So you can always put a bench and say that is the elder's corner and that's not elders corner and it should have substantial space so what we are looking at here is this is the master plan if you look at it is a 17 acres and basically all the buildings which are standing are within the 30 30 percent of the area which means roughly around five to five and a half acres of land is covered by buildings rest is all open area if you look at to the left that the entire area where the natural rock was there we decided that we can leave that so people always ask about you know why, now how do you kind of cut the cost in construction? You can always build shorter buildings and make a denser development where you consume all the open areas and then you present it to the people. So what we said is rather than building, doing that one, you know, retain the natural earth, the natural rock, and also the trees around that, and then 
build it around that so that people can enjoy over number of years. So there's no construction is going to come there and that is, this is how this, it has been designed. And as you see that number two, if you see that that is where that you enter, that the avenue which I talked about, the next number one is, is, is called, the, can you see the number one? Yeah, number one. Number one is a rain tree. This is a rain tree that we planted almost one and a half years back. By the time the customers walk in after two and a half, three years when the construction is completed, uh, three, three and a half years, this should be one of the largest rain tree, which works like a rotunda of, of where the traffic actually will, will, will go around that to reach wherever you want to reach. So that is, see, that is the way that we think about what should be coming in future. The tree has already been planted there. And also the construction also has started, you know, irrespective of whatever the launching that is happening that we have disconnected that, you know, launch and sales and everything else from construction. And I think the earthwork has already started at the site. So these are the outdoor amenities, Rain Tree Plaza, you know, Talta Forum Avenue and so on and so forth. You can read about that. So I think I talked about the elder zone. So these are all the open spaces and whatever the images that you see, these are not something to, you know, make people you know, to sell something. And we, whatever you see, it should be better than what you see in the, in, the, in the images because that will be in a larger scale, bigger scale. And that is our idea is to make sure that the, what we build is better than the images. So there are outdoor sports, you know, the dribble court and you know, beach volleyball and skating rink and cricket pitch. Why is it possible for us to dream about all these things and to create all these things is we've got that much of extra land available to do this. So clubhouse amenities and, you know, whatever the regular you've got, your badminton court, your music room, billiards, dance studio, gym with cafe, AV room, learning centers, and 20,000 square feet. It is really very well designed. And you can see this is something that the cafe inside, and this is the crash, and this is the gym, and these are some of the images, the music room, and the library. And whatever you're seeing, it will exactly be like this or even better than this. And this is not an image that is just shown for the purpose of it. These are all... Already architects and interior designers have designed that and even the specification and everything is ready. It will be exactly like this or better. Sustainability and we are one of the leaders and as a listed company, we actually publish every year our ESG report as to what are all the environmental steps that we take. And when you have some time, I really tell, wish that, you know, you walk around and you've got some of the boards that are put in. Sustainability is not about, everybody says save the earth. I say save yourself. You say earth was there even before you came in, earth will be there even after you're gone. So save yourself. When you're saving yourself, it should also have a monetary benefits to us. If we say that we have used this method of treatment plant or this kind of bio pond or this much of rain harvesting system, which means what is the amount of water that we are saving, which means what is the bill that is going to be, you know, yearly bill or monthly bill will be reduced for the customers. And that is the level of thinking that what we have done. And we have demonstrated that what is that measurably that you are going to save. When we say more for sure, it is not mere words. It should be able, we should be able to measure it. And otherwise, every other developer will also say the same thing and they will also develop, you know, with due respect to everybody. But when you're walking around, I would like you to take a look at it. And so sustainability and eco-friendly construction. And as you know, that Bangalore water, the water situation, you know, all our constructions are, you know, we spend more money to buy the treated water from the government to build our construction. Similarly, we use eco-friendly cement, concrete, and so on and so forth. Water conservation, which is very big. The way we plan today is the way people who are going to live there are going to live for the next 20, 30, 40 years. And that consciousness always prods us to do things, think about it, and do. So water conservation, there is a board there. You can take a look at what we have done. Nature-inspired landscaping, which you already talked about, that why we do not excavate so much, why we do not, why we want to have open, open spaces. So in fact, Provident as we have taken a position saying that we will not do a project. I don't think we must be the only project but developer in the country who says we will not do a project if I'm not able to give one tree per family. In this development, we have more than 1,500 trees for around 1,100 per 1,100 or 1,200 apartments that what we have. Renewable energy and wherever that is the rooftop in, in, in taller buildings that you do not get too much of space. Even with that, whatever the roof space that is available where we have um, the solar panels because of which that the electricity that we produce is used for common area lighting, reducing the bill. 
So I'll just want to take you to the typical tower and unit plans and also give you that what is this thinking that goes behind? For us, you know, when I was standing here, I was thinking, what is this music is all about? People are here to buy their apartment, and what is this tamasha we are trying to sit and do? That, you know, we got this music, this entertainment, this and that and everything. For us, it is a celebration. You know, the selling and the business is outcome of the intent of the business house. Very, very important. The intent of the business house is pure, to give more to the customers and to, you know, customer centricity, definitely outcome will be great. People will buy your product today, tomorrow, day after. The people will buy the product. That is, that is basically where we go. So just want to you know, spend some time with you on, for us it's a celebration. That is a project that we, today I'm presenting, it didn't start yesterday. It started one and a half years back, the planning started. In India, that we take almost one year, three months to get the approval itself, which means three, six months prior to that, the design would have started. We would have, we would have started to think that what would my customer who's going to come after four years is going to be living and what is, what is, what is that they are going to be experiencing. And that is how we start. So when the day when it comes for launching and it is a celebration for us, and thank you to, for you all to come, to come and you know, enjoy that celebration with us. So here it is, product details. So 2BHK, there are, there are four different types. 2BHK Comfort, which ranges from 986 square feet to 1,030 square feet. 3BHK, 1,334 square feet to 1,349. We have 2BHK Grand, which is 1,059 to 1,261. And 3BHK Grand, 1,480 to 1,494. I'll just take you through probably the... This is, I just want you to take a look at uh, the, the one more maybe. Ah, this is the one. So what I want you to take a look at is the way the, 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 the floor plans, that is the tower plan, that any typical floor that when you go, that you will see the arrangement made like this. Basically, if you look at it, that the sides have got openings from the top, you know, whatever the things that you see, the cross lines, these are all things where the light comes in. Probably we are the only developer who says that on the facade we will not take any of the sewage lines and electricity lines and other things you will not. When we do a facade, it must be the cleanest facade. Nothing will be visible under that, and there's going to be some cover, some kind of a jolly work they do, and nothing of that sort. All these things are buried inside, and the way you are looking at the corridor, Corridor should be lit, and if you go to most of the corridors and when you do a larger development like this, it feels like you got into a lodge or a hotel, where always the light is on and at around two o'clock after afternoon that you have to switch on the light to walk in the corridor. The light and energy and other things, you know, that is how that we look at it. It costs us more because the wall length, the outer wall length will become more. If you look at it, there is nothing stops us from actually bringing the houses closer and etc. But you see that in each house is almost like an independent house, only two walls connecting to each other. So there is no, it means that the independence that gives you the sound and the noise and other things. So that is how this has been designed. So the same thing here, you will see that, you know, even we have some of those, what, what, can, can you see somebody? Ah, okay, showing that. So that, that opening, I can actually, that, you know, why should I build those two walls as a developer? I can bring that and actually join them and, and, and avoid another wall where I don't have to spend it. But I don't do that. I say, no, 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 we want to send this, spend that money because people are going to live there for next whatever, 50, 60 years. How do they get the light to the corridor? How do they see the light on the other side? If you're walking through this one and if you're only looking the wall, looking at the wall, what fun is it? You know, these are all the fundamental thinking that goes behind when we actually think about these things. So you can take a look at this one, 2BHK Comfort, and not a single square feet is wasted. If you look at anywhere that when you enter from the entry, Find the entry, yeah, <laughs> the entry and the living room, and if you look at the master bedroom on this side, the kitchen and the dining and the bedroom, not a single square feet is wasted. And when you say, you may ask, like, what is the difference between a 2BHK Comfort and a 2BHK Grand? Exactly the same, except that the living, dining, and that, 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 that size becomes larger. A little bit more, 2BHK Grand, 11 feet by 16 feet, 11 feet by 16 feet, 6 inches. And we have said, somebody said that, you know, how do we bring the bring the unit price lower? So this is you know this is the master stroke by many of the developers. That, okay, reduce the size of the apartment. Reduce the size of the apartment, then the square footage comes 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 down and multiply with that the square foot value and the price going to become smaller. So I'm going to give you an apartment, 70 lakhs rupees, two bedroom apartment. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot live in a bedroom which is nine feet by nine feet. 
we have to first build a livable unit. Wherever we do, we will not do less, any size of the room cannot be less than 10 feet. So that is how we have designed it. And if you go to 3BHK Comfort, you can see that, you know, even in that bedroom too, that we have made a tucked in this thing that when we say 10 feet by 10 feet, it is 10 feet by 10 feet leaving that place, which means that that's going to be saved, that space is not actually counted in the 10 feet by 10 feet. And in 3BHK Comfort, you've got a six uh, uh, chairs unit or this thing, and uh, suddenly that your living room and dining room has become 18 feet, four inches again you will not see a single square foot wasted in the, in the, in the planning of the apartment. So, so three BHK grand, now if you look at the living and dining and it's becoming 12 feet by 22 feet, and again the floor plans and other things are almost exactly the same, the master bedroom, the balcony, and a bigger balcony, nine feet, eight inches by four feet, 10 inches, walking out of the, uh, the, the dining hall, and this is the three BHK grand. So when we say, that you know, we want to give more value, more value is in the thinking. You know, we, are, we are not thinking lazy when it comes to what we want to give to the customer, so that is how the value is created. So now, basically, I think I have said a lot about it, and I'm sure that there are other developers developing, and you know, there are options for you. You chose to be here, many of you have taken vouchers, many of you have taken EOIs, and we also know some kind of a range as to what it is. I, I'm telling you that whatever the price that we are going to reveal will be much lower than what you, what you thought that it should be, that's what I believe. And, um, and, 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 and what I want to tell you is that, is that you're all wise people, you will make wise decisions, and whatever we have done, we have put together what we think is the best product that is out there in the best location. So I'll leave the rest to you people and thank you very much. And uh, really, um, uh, I'm very thankful that you people uh, came in and have that kind of trust in us and faith in us. This project will be a massive success and I have no doubt about that because the intent is good, the product is good, everything is good and there is the, you people are there to make us successful. So the highly anticipated reveal is going to start and there is a show for that and take a look at it. Maybe it's possible I'll come back again. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, sir, for gracing this occasion with your glorious presence. And like sir mentioned, this is going to be a successful one for sure. Now, before we move on to the most awaited prize reveal, I thought why not come down and talk to a few of you. One thing that all of us know is that the property is inspired by the five elements of nature. Can anybody tell me what those five elements are? Give me a raise of hand. Yes, one hand swiftly went up right there. Yes, the lady right there. Can you stand up for me, ma'am? And may I have the pleasure of standing right next to you? Please stand up and tell me what are the five elements of nature? Okay, we'll go one after the other. I want the both of you to tell us. Please stand up. What's your name? Srija. And what's your name? Okay, so Srija and Adrija, thank you so much for spending this lovely afternoon and early evening with us. Tell us what are the five elements of nature. Air, water, fire, earth. Okay, okay, that's how you complete each other. I want you to say it once again a little more loudly so everybody can hear you, okay? Okay, so now with more confidence, I think you were contemplating, is it this, is it that, you know? So now you've already said it once. Second time with more clarity, let's go. Air, water, fire, earth, and space. Okay, so they say it is air, water, fire, earth, and space. Is that right or wrong? Are you sure? Is there anyone not right? Okay, I'm coming there. I'm coming there. We're going to get back to the lovely ladies right here. Yes. Yes, it could be right. It could not be right. We'll find out in a moment from now. Yes, I think somebody raised their hand. Yes, ma'am, please stand up. What are the five elements? Prithvi, Aap, Tej, Vayu, Akasha five elements of the uh, that, uh, nature. So we have in the uh, environment and as well as we have in our body also, these elements. Because I am an Ayurvedic uh, professor, so that's, I know everything about the five elements. What are you waiting for? Give it a huge round of applause, everybody. Well, that truly was a slice of life knowledge. Thank you so much, ma'am. What's your name? Dr. Chandrakala Bagli. Welcome, ma'am. Is he your son? Can you stand up for me, please? Because I think you have inspiration at home there.
the kind of confidence. Hi, sir. Welcome, welcome to you. Okay, so because we have a lovely family here, we'll get to know a little more about sir as well. So, what do you do? Dr. Anil Bagalkoti, professor in uh, CV Yogeshwar Ayurved Medical College, Intel Belagam District. We both are working in that same college. My son is uh, engineer, so he's doing in the GID company. Thank you. Hold on, hold on, sir and ma'am. I want to know how the both of you met. You are a professor. You are a doctor in Ayurveda. How did you both end up meeting? Please tell us that. Sir, I am going to tell you. Go on, sir. Both are Ayurveda. Only. Ayurveda doctors. Uh, we are uh, learned uh, in the same colleges, but we are the uh, arranged marriage. <laughs> Thank you so much for that clarification. Give it up for this lovely couple. And we hope that you make them proud as you are already doing. Thank you so much. Now let's move behind a little bit. Okay. Because we are all here to identify and find out our dream home, I'm going to ask this lovely lady right here. Ma'am, what is a dream home according to you? What are the necessary elements in a dream home? Of course, of course, the love of your life in the dream home. What else, ma'am? So like she said, there has to be a lot of space, there has to be light, there has to be a lot of greenery and most importantly, all of that is taken care of by you know which project I'm talking about. So now ladies and gentlemen, I see all of you have your eyes on the screen. Now for the most awaited, awaited, awaited moment, I'm going to now introduce a wonderful team who's come here all the way from Mumbai to do the prize reveal for all of us. How many of you all have seen the movie ABCD2? Give me a raise of hand. Yes, good news for all of you. They have performed in the movie. How many of you all have seen India's Got Talent? Give me a raise of hand. They are the winner of India's Got Talent season one. How many of you have seen Hunar Bas Desh Kishan? They are in that as well. I see a lot of hands going up. Well, the ones who are coming up on the stage right now have been a part of all of that. Ladies and gentlemen, they were awarded the best innovative act in India twice at the Live Quotient Awards. So without any further ado, if all of you are ready, I need loads of chappale. Kai tatangal. Jor ka chappal lurani. Put your hands together and welcome the wonderful team. My most favorite team. Presenting to all of you, Team Illuminati. Requesting all of you to not turn on your flashlights or use the flash in the camera if you take the video. For now, let's enjoy the performance brought to us by Illuminati. Of course, it's going to be a breathtaking performance and the prize that you're going to see is also going to be breathtaking. So with undivided attention, 100% concentration, all eyes on the stage, please. Imagine waking up to the gentle rustling of leaves, the melodious songs of birds, and the fresh scent of the great outdoors. Living within nature isn't just a dream. It's a reality waiting for you to explore. A sanctuary where life thrives in perfect balance and where nature's gifts are celebrated. Experience elevated urban living rooted in nature. Designed by the five elements of nature, which come together to create an extraordinary urban tapestry adorned with best in class amenities. Air. Water, space, fire, earth. Gentle breezes soothe and soul amidst lush gardens.
water bodies create a heaven of calmness and reflection. Limitless skies open up as a canvas for dreams and imagination. Ignite the heart to create moments of connection and passion. than rocks that take us to the very foundations of nature. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Provident Botanico. Seventeen acre development, two and three BHK apartments, 40 plus lifestyle amenities, 20,000 square feet clubhouse, 30 plus indigenous species of trees, one acre of natural rocks converted into a rock garden, 70% lung space in the development. Sustainability at its essence. Get ready, Bengaluru. Brace yourselves for the most epic pre-launch the city has ever seen. Prepare to be blown away by an absolutely irresistible offer. This is your only chance to seize an unbelievable deal. Act fast because this exclusive offer is valid for the pre-launch event only. Let's have a louder round of applause.
Oh my God, did you all enjoy that? Well, I must tell you something. When you clap, right, you need to clap, of course, with your hand, but the feeling has to come in from the heart. Did you all enjoy that? Fantastic. Well, this is unbelievable. Of course, the performance was so amazing and could only be done by Provident. Now, for another surprise, for another surprise, hear me very carefully. I'm going to call up, up on stage Mr. Malana once again. Let's welcome him on the stage. We have one big surprise coming your way, everybody. So give him the loudest round of applause once again. Thank you, hello, hello, hello. Thank you, Fatima. Um, so you, know, you, you, you saw the prize and there's quite a number of you know, ways in which people were said that this is going to cost this much or that much or 84 lakhs, 94 lakhs, 1 crore, 1.2 crore crores. And I think this is very competitively priced uh, in my opinion and I'm pretty sure that you will also feel that this is competitively priced. Just want to tell you something, some, some of the things that are happening in the industry. It's about if you see the comprehensive development plans in the city, whether it is, this comes under something called SPRR, there is a BDA, BIFR, BBMT, and a BMICT, and so on and so forth, that the CDP, the comprehensive development plans, have not been revised for the last five, seven, eight, nine years. Because of which what is happening is that the developable lands are not available for the developers to pick and develop. If, there, if it is an agricultural zone, it has remained in agricultural zone. If it was in the park zone, it has remained in the park zone. The land prices have shot up because people are buying homes and there is a consolidation that has happened in the industry. There are no more smaller developers. It's only the larger developers. Larger developers are usually supported by financial institutions, which means that aggressively people go and bid for the land. The land prices are going up. If you go back three, four years back, what used to happen is that whatever the construction cost that we, need, you, we used to have, there's an 18% GST. We used to get what we call the input credit. That means whatever the tax that I spend, that once I give it, show that this thing that I get back that money from the government. That means if the construction cost is 3,000 rupees, 18% is 540 rupees. That 540 rupees, two years, two and a half years back, government took back. That 540 rupees is now a cost that I have to transfer to the customers. So these are all the things. So, the, so why I'm saying all these things is that the prices are not going to go down. It's only going to go up north because the products which are going to come in, if you really look at white field, the entire white field, probably in the last uh, four or five months, you have not seen a single launch, right? One, one, one on the oh, towards the old Madras road that was launched some three, four, uh, yeah, five months or six months back and you don't see the launch. Why? It is simply because that the land parcels are not available. It takes more than a year to get the approvals. And we, since the developer has put the money to buy the land, which means that cost of money takes the price of the, for the end of the day, customer has to bear that, right? So it's, it is in all of that one, in all of that, our engineering thinking and other things that whatever we have said, we want to transfer it. So she said, and Fatima said, hey, Malana is coming and he's going to surprise you all, right? You know, we want to value the trust and the faith you have in us. You, most of you have bought the EOIs or the vouchers, and some of you have come in today. Whatever the price that you saw today that was announced, today if whoever is closing, one lakh rupee less than whatever the price that is there. So I, I hope that makes you all happy. And, um, and, I, and, I, and I, I want you to think, as I said that, you know, I will not say you must buy this, it will not be available, there is nothing like this, and this is the best pakora that is there, if you don't buy it now, it is going to go cold. I'm not going to say that, because for wiser people, no need to say so much, and it is there, it's a fantastic product, and it's a great thing, so enjoy. And also one more thing that, uh, because of the great arrangement that what we have done, some of you are bookings and other things may get over soon. Don't go away. There's a fantastic dinner that has been organized. Please have dinner, everybody, and then leave. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Once again, I hope all of you love the surprise that sir had for all of us. Now with that, very quickly, I must tell all of you, after every prize reveal, there are two levels of an audience. Level one are those who did not like the prize at all, okay? Can you show me how they'll clap? You didn't like the prize at all. Yes, you don't clap at all. Now there's level two of an audience. They love the prize. They love the offer and they're waiting to go and grab that dream home of theirs. My level two audience, can you show me how to clap? Super.
Superb. So with that, let me tell all of you that everybody who's a part of batch one, how many of y'all are a part of batch one? Give me a raise of hand. Okay, I'm going to request all of you to kindly proceed towards the allotment area. We're going to start batch wise. First, we're going to have batch one who will make their way to the allotment area. For everybody else who are wondering, what do we do? Do not worry at all. We've got a load, loads of entertainment coming in for all of you. We also have a carnival area on the outside. So do enjoy every little experience because with Provident, there's more for sure. So take care of yourselves. Enjoy the process. I hope you all find your dream home today. With that, let's have our batch number one kindly proceed to the allotment area also do remember that per family we've handed over two bands to avoid overcrowding we'll have to be sure and keep the number of people in mind so in interest of that i'm going to request you all to kindly proceed there and explore and experience that area as well in the meanwhile i see all of you taking a picture i'm not going to get in the picture, please make sure you take, have a good look at this. This is very, very important. Make a mental note, take a picture, do whatever you want, but enjoy this experience. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, thank you so much for coming in. And yes, of course, of course, of course. All right, for the ones who are still here and the ones who have taken the picture, I'm going to request you all to kindly settle down because we have with us one of the best mentalists of the country who's going to make the impossible possible with all of you. So do take in some time, click as many pictures as you can and then we are going to have our mentalist friend join us. Yes, Rakesh is ready. We are going to have you come up in a moment from now.